wondering what photography equipment you need to start off with, watch this video for my top 5 recommended photography equipment every beginner needs. Hi, I'm Jana Garcia from BeAQueensProductions.com. I am a family and portrait photographer right here in my hometown. In this channel, I teach beginners the basics of photography and all the tips and tricks you need to improve your photography skills. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. When I started doing photography, I started with a Canon Rebel T3i. Comment below what type of camera you're starting off with and if it came in a bundle. Just like any other beginner camera, my camera came with two kit lenses. I did use those two kit lenses to take pictures, but I also bought a prime lens, more specifically a 50mm. The main reason I recommend the 50mm is because it helps you be more creative with your shots. The kit lenses are a good lens for you to start off with, but having a 50mm will help you think more creative with your composition and framing of the photo. On my next two videos, I'm going to talk about the kit lenses, why they are good lenses for starters, and why the 50mm is the best recommended prime lens for beginners, so stay tuned for that. Item number two on your list is extra batteries. Now, your camera comes with one battery, but you don't want to depend on just one battery. If you're planning on doing wedding photography, quinceanera photography, or plan family photography mini sessions throughout the entire day, you need to depend on more than just one battery. Item number three are SD cards. I know cameras come with an SD card already, but I highly recommend buying two other SD cards. A brand that I like are the Sundex Ultra, either a 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte. Photographing in RAW requires an SD card that can handle that quality and that sizable format. When I got my Canon Rebel 33i, it came with the bag already, the ones that are in just one shoulder. Which is why I recommend buying a camera backpack. It's more comfortable when you're moving from one place to another, plus there's more room for other camera accessories. Lastly, you need an editing program. My recommendation is Lightroom. It's easy, to, it's easy to learn and you can edit a batch of photos at the same time and more quickly. Another editing program I recommend is Photoshop. Photoshop is more complex and it takes time getting to know your way around it, but you have more control on editing the photos the way that you want it and more thoroughly. That's it. So here are the five things that I recommend. A 50mm lens, batteries, SD cards, a camera backpack, and an editing program. These are the five things that I started with and these are the five things that I recommend photography be beginners to start their photography journey. If you liked this video, let me know by liking it down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified when I post. Share this video with a friend who is interested in photography. And if you have any questions about photography, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Wednesday.